live this journey of actually being able to sing these songs with an orchestra, with a full company of actors, the actors of Wicked. If I could tell my 13-year-old self, she'd flip. <laughs> When I'm working with a new alphabo, I usually like to just start with the first act. There's a lot of notes and nuances, and then they'll go to stage management and dance captains for a couple days, and then they'll come back to me, and we'll do the second act. And then we'll circle around the next week, and I'll be in rehearsals during the day with her, and then I'll have private vocals with her again. I think the most challenging part is stamina. The songs are difficult in and of themselves, but also being a part of the story. It's the most challenging role I've ever played. When we are hand in hand, the wizard and I. The most valuable advice I've been given is just to bring myself to the character and be committed to Alphaba's story. Every single person is very different that walks into this building. I need to make sure they feel comfortable so they can lean on me for support because it is so massive. Ultimately, we're just trying to tell as truthful of a story as we possibly can. A girl who is so superior. I think the lyric that conveys Alphaba's truest self is unlimited. My future is unlimited. My future is unlimited. We all know that lyric. It's iconic and it conveys a confidence and a genuine hope through the character that all of us can identify with. What I really try and work with is pacing yourself through the material. You know, it's very conversational at some points and then it opens up massively vocally. Like, and I'll stand there with the wizard. It's so thrilling to be able to collaborate with the best of the best artists and to bring this character to life through this extraordinary music. The wizard and love.